Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design a professional letterhead using your Android phone. So, without much ado, let's get started. So, firstly, delete this test that is on, on the screen of your Pixel app. So, the test have already been highlighted. So, click on delete and then it will be delete. So, now we, are, we need to change the image size of the pixel background so click on the three dotted line and then click on the image size so you change the width you change it to 2500 while you change the height to 3500c and then you click on ok so after that click on the fourth icon down the left at the bottom side and then you click on color so click on color again and then we are going to change it to white so after changing it to white we need to draw a shape so click on the third uh, icon at the bottom and then you click on shape so after you click on shape then you try to make it big and then you take it upward and then you swipe it to the left and then try to reduce it small and then swipe up and then you change the color you change it to bluish color so press on ok and then copy it again click on copy so it has been copied so click on edit so as to change it to black So after clicking it to black, okay, it has not done. Click on edit again and then click on black and then it has been changed to black. Now click on swipe to the right and click on position and then you take it up or up. You should go to take it up. So what you are going to do is click on OK and then click on to back so we want to put this one we want to put it to the back so click on to back and then go back to position and then you take it forward until you have something like this so after you have something like this click on ok now we are going to match the two drawings the two colors together so how do you do that click on the drop down icon at the top here and then now listen very well click on this very first icon so once you click on it it's going to bring out a mark box at the two uh, rectangle images that we bring now click on it click on it until you have something like this so now we are going to click on the third icon at the bottom one two three so once you click on it you will see a confirmation message that says are you sure you want to match the selected object click on ok so the two objects has been selected and then click on this place to go back so now click on it on the image again and then you click on copy so it has already been copied come to relative position and then click down you will see that we have two color in here so come to put, uh, come to rotate we are going to rotate so click on rotate and then we need to rotate this to change it to 180 so after ch changing it to 180 you swipe it down and then you get until you get something like this so once you are done then we need to input our test but before we input a test you need to increase the top one here so just swipe down now it's too big so i think it's okay like this so that by the time we're fixing the text the text will show very well so now click on a and then you bring it a test so it has already come click on edit and then we are using bold concept for our test bold in capital letter bold 
current set and then you click on ok so after clicking on ok we need to change the font size but before we change the font size let's change the color to white so the color has been changed to white and then we need to change the font type rather so click on fonts and then we need to use our regular font let's just use blogger sans brood so here it is so let's use position to drag it to centralize it so here it is but before we continue we need to input our logo so i've already sent the logo to you so click on the plus sign and then you click on from gallery and then you choose the logo So here is the logo click on ok and then re de resize the logo resize the logo to make it small so if and cannot do it you need to click on the third option and then you click on position so you can now have a position but it's too it's still too big and then if it's too big you need to increase this rectangle so click on the rectangle and then you drag it downward so i think this is a beautiful one so use position to adjust it very well so you can actually put it here and then you can actually fix it like this then you can use a relative size Okay. yeah you can use relative size to adjust it so now let's come back to both concepts and then come to click on both concept and then click on a come to relative position and you make sure it is in centralized spot come to position again and then you manually centralize it so after you are done we need to copy the image again and then we fix the full number so click on it and then you click on edit so let's fix the phone number okay let's type contact contact color and then you input the desired number so click on ok so now drag it drag it down and then go to we need to decrease it come to size so decrease it to like 20 so now if you want to make it to fit so look at this very well this particular edge just increase it to the right do you see now this is what we need so click on position and then we try to adjust now it's still kind of very very big so we need to decrease the size once again so decrease the size to 16 then come back to position and then you fix it like this you make sure you fix it very well so that it will not be slant so here it is so copy this text again and then click on edit and then after clicking the edit we want to fix the email so type in email so we need to type the email broad concept at email.com press on ok so come to relative position oh sorry so come to you can actually okay to take it back you press that arrow that looks like back so i need to click on that email press on this and then click on the email is at the top so it has been clicked so now you need to use 
your relative position to bring it but you have to be very careful because it is a color white and then you might not really see it so firstly press the down part then press this one press it down again press this one press it down until it comes to this place you can actually use relative position to fix it so and then if you are finding it very difficult you can create another test and then you manually drag it down so here it is so now before we finish we need to input a background in here for us to for it to make it more meaningful now click on the plus sign we need to input the logo again and then you click on both concepts so press on ok and then reduce it reduce it and then you fix it to this middle so now we need to do something we want to decrease you want to decrease the opacity that is you want to decrease the brightness so how do you do that click on the the tall icon down the left and then you swipe to the right you see something that's called opacity so just take it like this do you see something you can actually reduce it you can make it big you can make it like this so reduce the opacity to your desired taste so the very the at least leave it to like nine percent and then you press on okay so this is how to design a professional uh letter header using your android phone so once you are done remember to save projects and then you save it as letter header and then you click on okay so click on a three dotted line and then you need to export so you export it to ultra and then you save to gallery so that's how to design a professional uh, let's see you in the next video.